Right, okay guys, uh, so I've got a little bit of an issue, I'm hoping the community might be able to help me out with this a bit. Um, right, so as you know I've got a Mega Drive Mark 1 for Christmas from the wife, and uh, I've been busy working so I've only just got a chance to fire it up today, looking forward to having a go on it, and I've got an issue with it. Um, I've used two different leads, one that come with it, which was... Uh, uh, auxiliary to, I say auxiliary, it's like a DIN sort of lead. Plug that in the AV out and then it runs to a SCART. I'll turn it on, flickering picture, slow speed sound on some of the games, high speed on others. Switched it over to a lead that I bought off of eBay, which is again another DIN, which goes to three RCAs, so your yellow, your white and red. And same problem again. So I'm, I'm thinking there could be a problem with the AV out. Um, maybe there's an issue with it. It's come away or something. I don't know. Um, really, I'm just looking for someone who's got a little bit more expertise in this. That'll probably be able to steer me in the right direction. Because I really don't want to be forking out loads of money. Only to find it can't be repaired. Or that it's a simple fix and I've wasted money. So... Um, yeah, it's a bit of a bummer. I was really looking forward to playing this today. And, yeah, the um, reset button I found doesn't work either. So I'm a little bit irritated with the person who sold it on eBay, if I'm honest. Because they either tested it and knew this and sold it anyway, or they just didn't test it. So, you know, if I'm selling a console, I always test it first. So, yeah, I'm a little bit irritated at the moment, to say the least. Like I say, I was really looking forward to playing this, and yeah, it's not it's not working properly. So, uh, yeah, don't know what more I can really say. Just really gutted, really. <laughs> it's been sitting here since Christmas Day because I haven't been able to get on it, and I finally get around to it, and it don't work properly. So, um, it's annoying, really, because if I had an RF out cable, I could actually find out if it was the AV, but I don't have one, so. Because this is the thing, if I plug the RF in and it works fine, then we know it's the AV that's the issue. But, yeah, I haven't got one of those leads. So, I might see if I can track one down on eBay. I don't imagine it'll cost much. See if I can get some joy that way. At least then I'll know. It kind of narrows it down. Because I'm thinking, like, and I know with these old devices, there's problems with um, capacitors and soldering as well i know it becomes an issue over time and obviously these are very old now so um i want to narrow it down but i want to narrow it down the cheapest way possible you know i don't want to be forking out stupid amounts of money and then find i could have just bought another one off ebay you know so uh yeah so if anybody knows in the community or has an idea what this could be can you let me know in the comments below because I, I really want to try and shortcut this if i can Right, uh, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so that you're made aware of all our future videos and live streams. And until next time, take care, stay safe. Nerdy Geezer out.